children, welcome back to Todd's Zone and Ling Zone Online. Thank you for joining us every week. If you're tuning in with us for the first or the second time, then we welcome you. And if you've missed any of our past lessons, you can find them at the link below. It's August and time truly does fly. This month, we're going to be learning about parables. Now, what are parables? Parables are earthly stories told by Jesus with heavenly meaning. Wow, this means that they're so important for us to listen to and for us to learn from. Today, we're going to be learning about the parable of the two builders. Let's get excited. Now let's invite Timothy to pray for us and we'll have a great time of praise and worship. Father God in heaven, thank you for this beautiful day for all children to come and praise and worship you. Thank you for all teachers to come to teach us more about Jesus, Lord, may you heal all the sick and keep all the children healthy and strong. In Jesus' name I pray, Amen. The wise man built his house upon a rock. The wise man built his house upon a rock. The wise man built his house upon a rock. And the rain came tumbling down. The rain came down and the floods came up. The rain came down and the floods came up. The rain came down and the floods came up. And the house on the rock stood firm. That's the foolish man now. The foolish man built his house upon the sand. The foolish man built his house upon the sand. The foolish man built his house upon the sand And the rain came tumbling down The rain came down and the floods came up The rain came down and the floods came up The rain came down and the floods came up And the house of the sand fell flat shall not be the foolish man. Let us all try to be the wise man. The wise man is the right way because the house will stay strong and firm. Shall we sing the wise man now? Ready? Go! The wise man built his house upon a rock. The wise man built his house upon a rock. The wise man built his house upon a rock. And the rain came tumbling down. The rain came down It's Bible lesson time! Yay! Let's join our Papa friends to sing the Bible song together!
come back children remember during praise and worship just now we sang about the wise man who built his house upon the rock and the foolish man who built his house upon the sand what happened to both the houses come let's find out in today's lesson one of us is foolish one of us is wise but you can't tell the difference because we are in disguise we both built our houses in our ideal spot but you can't really tell how many brains we've got both houses look the same tall and straight and true so you can't tell the difference until the storm strikes out of the blue. It was when trouble came, the wise man was revealed. When rain and floods came along to shake foundations we've concealed. The wise man's house was on the rock and your life can be too. It's really very simple. Here's all you have to do. Believe in Jesus Christ and take Him as your Savior. Read your Bible and they may alter bad behavior. Children, look at this rock. This rock is so big and so strong and so heavy that even if the wind blew, it would stay still. The wise builder built his house on a strong stone like this. That's why his house was not shaken even when the storm hit. Hmm, what does it mean to be wise? To be wise is to make good decisions or good choices. That means you know what is good and what is bad. But how do we know what is good and what is bad? We all think differently. How do we become wise? Where do we get wisdom? Matthew 7 verse 24 says, Everyone who listens to me and does them is like a wise man who built his house on the rock. What does that mean? We become wise when we listen to the word of God. Not only that, but when we obey it. That's why we have to read our Bible every day so that we hear what God says, not what other people say. That's how you know what is good and what is bad because all good things come from that's right god but what if we listen and we don't obey hmm then we will be like the foolish builder who built his house on the sand when troubles come we will be afraid and we will fall so children remember this true wisdom comes from god and we need to ask God for wisdom every day so that we will know what is good and what is bad. We want to be wise men who built our houses on the rock. Children, let's watch this video of Jesus telling his followers the story of the wise and foolish builders. Have you ever built a sandcastle on the beach? Even though you build it high and you pat the sand until it is firm, what happens when the foamy waves wash around it? A long time ago, Jesus told a story about that. One day, Jesus sat on the side of a hill, talking to hundreds of people seated on the grass in front of him. Jesus knew about storms and floods. So did the people seated around him. Many of them had lived near the Sea of Galilee all of their lives. When they were children, they probably played at the water's edge. Jesus loved the people so much, he wanted them to understand about God. He wanted them to understand how to be joyful. Maybe a story about building at the water's edge would help them understand. And so Jesus told this story. Once, a man decided to build a house. He chose a high, rocky ledge on which to build it. The water wouldn't flood his house. His house would be safe and the foundation strong. The man worked hard carrying the building materials all the way up onto the rock. After the house was finished, the rains came down, the wind blew and blew, 
the streams grew bigger and bigger, overflowing their banks. Now there was flooding to worry about, but the house was safe. The man had built it on a strong, firm foundation of solid rock. That makes sense, doesn't it? The people thought so. They all nodded and said, "Amen." And Jesus told them, "If you listen to God and live for me, you are building your house on the rock." And all the people nodded and said, "Amen," again because building on rock made sense. Then Jesus continued. His story was not done. Another man built himself a house. The man chose to build his house on the sand at the water's edge. He probably built a strong house too, and he probably worked very hard at it. After the house was finished, the rains came and pounded it. The wind blew and blew. The streams rose higher and higher and overflowed their banks. Soon they flooded the house. The waves beat and beat against the house, washing away the sand underneath it. And the house fell in with a mighty crash because there was no deep, firm foundation supporting the walls. What a foolish man! The people may have thought he should have known better, and so he should have. But listen to what Jesus said next. When people listen to my words and do not do anything about them, they are as foolish as that man. They cannot expect to be joyful. The wise person not only listens, but is willing to do what I say. The people opened their eyes in amazement as they listened to Jesus. His teaching was very different from the teachers of the law they usually heard. I wonder. How many people who heard Jesus that day were willing to build their lives on Jesus? How many wanted to study and live by God's word? How about you? So you see, children, wisdom is listening to God and trusting Him. When you trust God, you will find peace and joy, no matter what you struggle with. So, if you want to be like the wise man who built his house on the rock, remember to read your Bible and pray every day, so that you will know what is good and what is bad. Remember, the wise man built his house on the rock. Jesus is that rock. Let's learn today's memory verse with Ben Koko. Hi, children. This week's memory verse is from Matthew chapter seven, verse twenty-four. In Matthew chapter seven verse twenty-four, it says, "The wise man built his house on rock." Let's try it again. The wise man built his house on rock. Wow, that's so good, children. Let's try it by replacing one word. What is this, children? That's right. It's a man. The wise man built his house on. Rock. That's so good. Let's replace another word. You all know what this is, children. This is a house. That's right. The wise man built his house. Correct on rock. Okay, let's do it with another word. What's this? It's a rock. That's correct, children. Let's try it. Okay. The wise man built his house on. Rock. That's so good. Okay, let's do it one last time. But I want you to do it as loud as possible so your daddy and mummy can hear. Okay, in Matthew chapter seven verse twenty-four, it says, "The wise man built his house on rock." Wow, so good, children. You all did a very good job. See you later. Wow, what an amazing lesson to learn from Jesus. Now, what is one thing that you learned today? Can you turn to your mummy and daddy and tell them what you learned today? I think for me, what I learned is I want to do what the Bible says. You know, I can read the Bible, but I must also do what the Bible says so that my life will be on a strong foundation, just like the house of the wise men. Come, children, let us pray. Dear Lord, thank you so much for teaching us to be like the wise men. As we read your word in the Bible, teach us to do what you say, so that when trouble comes, we can stand firm and we will not be shaken. In Jesus' name, I pray. Amen. Join us again next week to learn about the parable of the sower. Hmm, what's a sower? Come find out. You don't want to miss it. 
Before we say goodbye, let's join Oliver to sing this prayer and bless each other. See you again next week. Bye-bye.